Today we are having a look at Network Anarchy, one of, if not the must-have mod when it comes to improving your City Skylines gameplay. Hello peeps, Drogadier, welcome back to another episode of Mod Spotlight. While at the Mods Workshop page, I strongly recommend checking these provided links here to get the full picture of the mod's power working for you in the background, while just providing a very simple to use interface in the game. This is the mod's options menu. If your in-game UI looks different than mine, then you need to activate these options. Below are the keyboard shortcuts and at the bottom the debug lock feature. The first set of modes switches between network styles when placing or updating a network. First option is the game's default behavior. The first ground mode will place the network at the desired height and then adjust the ground to be right below it. Forcing the network to be elevated is the third option. And with the bridge option you could also build bridges at the desired height. And of course you also could force the tunnel mode. This might look silly right now, but remember you might want to alter the landscape after placing down your interchanges. And the cool thing is that this not only works when placing networks, but also when updating them. When building interchanges like these, I recommend building them entirely as elevated networks and after the landscaping is done, adjust the networks type to fit the landscape. The first mode in the second row is the anarchy option, which overrides all restrictions the game normally has, like too steep, nodes too close to each other and so on. In our case, the missing shoreline to place a key is ignored. The second option removes the automatic bending of networks, so we can connect here with a straight and then adjust the curvature with move it later. Toggle node snapping allows us to place nodes very close to each other without the game trying to snap to the other node. Toggle collision allows you to build without the automatic bulldozing happening. The straight sloping option ignores terrain and automatically calculates the correct height for each node. The max segment length slider determines after which distance a new node is set automatically. The default are 12 units or 96 meters. Change this if for example you want to build nicer bridges with more arches. If you're interested in more City Skylines mods, you can find the playlist up in the cards as well as a link to the playlist of my actual Let's Play series. Please leave a like if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and we see each other next time. Bye guys!